Good morning, sweet sisters. I know that fear is increasing everywhere with what's happening with the global pandemic. So what's happening even for me is that this is a flashback to when 2008 crashed. Um, and I remember how difficult those times are. So I, as I'm having conversations this week, it's reminding me of what it was then, what happened to me then, and it's even triggering a few things and I've had to work really hard to be grounded, as I know many of you have. So I'm reaching out today because we are at a choice point. When fear is threatening to overwhelm you or anxiety for all that is going on, um, no matter how much it is personally affecting you or not, Please know that that is a point where we can choose to react to it differently. Fear will never take us to where we want to go. Making a conscious choice of choosing a different direction will. So here are just a few tips. The thing about fear and chaos is that it will end up bringing you down to a deep dark hole and the deeper you allow it to bring you the deeper it gets it's like the aperture of a camera that is beginning to close down and the light goes farther and farther away I remember those times all too well if you are in that space today I want you to find someone else you can serve one of the only ways that I made it through that dark time was to stop thinking about myself and to stop wringing my hands about my own future there are always people that we can serve in one capacity or another. So start meeting some of your neighbors, okay? I understand the whole social distancing thing. I'm not asking you to get close to them, but please go start meeting neighbors or at least drop off a note with your email and phone number in case somebody who is worse off than you needs help. Find ways to serve other people. If you're not sure how to do that or can't get out and do that, then pick a country that's battling right now and begin to cover them in light and healing and, and anything you can do to send them good thoughts. We all need to be thinking about each other. What these times do is it will either drive us apart or it will drive us together. So please, I will be doing several videos this week because we're all going to need to uplift each other as much as possible. Call those friends that you haven't talked to in a while. Call those family members that you haven't talked to in a while. Find a way to serve. We are designed for these times. You are resilient. We can do this. I am wrapping you all in much love, much light, and goodness knows we can be doing that for all of the workers on the front line in the healthcare industry that are courageously and heroically helping us get through this. I'll be in touch soon, my sweet sisters. Sending love.